Hi, welcome to Tech Bytes with Hef. Today, we're going to explore an app called Team Shake. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at an app called Team Shake. Team Shake will create random teams or seemingly random teams. When you open it up, it will look like this, only it won't have any players added to it. I'm gonna add a player by clicking on the plus sign on the top. Now I'm going to add a player named Spot. I'm gonna add. Okay, so you saw that Spot ended up on the list. Over here on the left-hand side, I can edit any of the, um, the players. If I click on the icon, I can make them absent or um, present. Now, down here on the bottom toolbar, you can see that it says one team, two teams, three teams, four teams, and if you toggle, you can um, create as many teams as you would like. I can also um, click on the arrows over here and change it to how many people I want on a team. So I'm going to make two teams and it will show me that I'm going to create two teams of size four. Now, all I need to do is press the shake button or actually shake the iPad and I'll get teams created. And you can show your students the teams. Okay, very simple. Now, when I click done, let's take a look over here um, on the bottom and click on the page and you can see a toolbar pops up on the side. Over here, I can back up my lists. I can export lists to a spreadsheet. I can import lists, which is very useful. I can rename a list or create a new list, load, edit lists, save new lists, and save list changes. So a lot of great options there. Now, over on the right-hand side, if I click on this little hat with the person in it, it will give me a random name of a player. So that's a, a cool option. And then over here on the this icon, it'll show things that you can uh, do some common actions. I can mark all absent, I can mark present, I can list them by name, strength, whether the absent people are on top, I can share Team Shake, I can toggle the video out and create reset sub and opposed teams. Now down the bottom, you'll see uh, there's a student view. I can balance the team strengths. I can balance male and female. I can separate male and female. I can have a two female minimum or a two male minimum. Uh, I can make equal ability teams, level teams, sub teams, and opposed teams. Now let's take a look at how you do some of those things. If I click on uh, Fred, this comes up with Fred's profile. I can mark him present or absent. I can uh, put in a gender if I would like, and then I can toggle his strength to make sure if I wanna put him as a strong player, and then I wanna balance my teams, I can make sure that over and over again that uh, my teams are balanced. Then down below, if you take a look, there's a sub team and a pose team. If I want, um, let's say, uh, Fred and Barney to always play together, then I can both put them on sub team one. Okay. And you'll see what happens when you press the done button that a number one comes up next to Fred. And then I go to Barney and I do sub team one, done, press done. And now they both have a one next to their names. So now when I shake the hat, Fred and Barney are on the same team. When I shake it again, Fred and Barney are still on the same team, okay? Now, if I were to go to those same two people and instead of putting them on sub teams, put them on a pose team, this time when I shake, Fred and Barney will be on different teams and they will continue to be on different teams no matter how much I shake. So that is a very powerful tool if you want to split up um, 
players that don't get along with one another or players, um, you know, with abilities that you would like to separate. Just one more note about Team Shake. Because shaking the tablet creates teams, be sure not to hand off the tablet to your students to view the teams as new teams will be created. I would suggest screen sharing it to a projection, reading it out loud, or setting it up on a tripod for students to view. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Tech Bytes with Hef. See you next time.